Hey guys, Justin with Reborn Golf. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you a drill and an exercise to help keep the club in front of you in the backswing. My clients, a lot of my athletes who have the club in the backswing just get too far behind them. Uh, their shoulders stop rotating and their arms continue to go. So you'll have a breakdown in the left arm, elbow might flare up, wrist might hinge, over hinge. That'll end up with inconsistency in the backswing, inconsistency in your ball striking, inconsistency with tack angle, number of things happen when you stop rotating with your core body and let the extremities kind of take over. I'm sure a lot of you have heard your swing is very armsy, uh, your upper body dominant, X, Y, Z. So let's get you a field drill and a field exercise so that you can keep the club in front of you and understand when those breakdowns happen, how to fix them. Okay, for this drill, all you're gonna need is a golf club or some sort of uh, alignment, some, something that you can hold onto that's straight. And you're gonna put that right in the middle of your chest. You're gonna get into a golf posture and hold it like a golf club. So not completely down, just golf posture extending up. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a backswing. Okay, once I feel where that backswing ends because I'm not able to take this off my chest, I'm gonna keep it pressed against the center of my chest. That's as far as my backswing should go. Because my shoulders are done rotating, my, lo my hip is loaded, and that's it. Any overextension after that is gonna to lead to inconsistency. So one more time, I'm gonna put this in the middle of my chest here, I'm gonna hold it like a golf club, I'm gonna make my backswing, and you might feel that your arms wanna keep going, but realistically, once I get to that position, that's where my arms should stop, and then my lower body should start to take over, that sequence should begin, that kinematic sequence, getting back to the golf ball, and make everything timed a lot better, make the body feel like it's generating more power from the ground and not from above your head. <laughs> Okay, now a good exercise to feel that same type of drill, but if you're in the gym and you wanna work on things there and get a little core activation, uh, strengthen up the parts of you that are gonna take over that swing uh, when you start to figure that feel out, is a good wide stance payoff press with a rotation, but I'm gonna do it in a way that's gonna include the rotation and not emphasize the anti-rotation that it's kind of meant to. So I'm gonna have a nice wide stance, wider than my normal golf posture, I'm going to have some tension on whatever resistance band you choose, but I'm going to keep it right in front of me, right in that middle of the chest. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to maintain posture, I'm going to press out, and I'm going to follow this handle all the way to the right. Okay, so my core is engaged, I'm rotating with my arms. Again, what I don't want to do is you know, break down my arms and, and in the exercise create the same habits that are plaguing the inconsistency now. I wanna start something new. So repeat on both sides, and then it's another great exercise to work in tandem with the drills that I just presented. Hope everything works for you. Hope the feel is a little bit different. Hit them straight, good luck.